And now, my dear friends, we can compare the both of systems with the camshaft and with the electro hydraulics. We have this opportunity, which is given by Rexroth Bosch Group, which also designed the equipment of FIVA, which we will see later. And also, I will leave uh, below on the comments the site which you will can find uh, additional information. So the old system that we have here is the camshaft with the chain. As you can see here, this is the chain around with uh, all the links. So the camshaft will press the fuel pump and the injection will be achieved. Also, one cam is designed for the exhaust valve opening. Okay, there is other cams which press also a actuator, exhaust valve actuator, and then the exhaust valve also will be opened at the appropriate uh, time that has set from the camshaft. Okay, everything is mechanical. And now we will go we will go to the electro hydraulics, the new engines. Okay, we have removed the old system. This is the FIVA that we have. And you can see this is for the fuel injection activator and for the exhaust valve activation. This is how we do it. The spool piece is moving and there is different uh, ways that oil passing. As you can see, all that is done by the oil pressure. So the oil pressure will be moved at the appropriate timing and will inject or will open the exhaust valve. And now we have cut it, our FIVA, in the middle exactly. We can seal the main spool this one is called main spool, the control spool, the pilot spool, the voice call drive, the PSB, a feedback sensor, and all the ports here from where the oil is traveling to our activa activators. From the feedback sensor, we receive a signal that our FIVA was activated. So the system will understand that a ejection or a exhaust was activated through the channel 30. And through the channel 70, which comes from CCU, Cylinder Control Unit, we receive a signal which goes here to PSB and there will be activate the voice coil driver. We will see how a voice coil drive is working by video. So then a pilot spool will be moved in one direction. So it will initialize the oil flow through the system here and then the injection process will be start first. The valve, the exhaust valve will remain closed. Then after everything, it will be burnt inside. The exhaust valve will be opened. Okay. So, the control oil, servo oil, is passing from P here the control oil. For exhaust valve, the drain will be here from the actuator, will be passing from here to this line. And for the fuel pump injection, the oil will be passed from this side. Different side moves. When we have the fuel injection, we have uh, the drain of oil on the exhaust valve actuator. 
when we have exhaust valve actuator actuated we have drain in the fuel uh, pump line activate uh, activator yes drain we have a drain from this line here the oil returns from here so we have said that channel 30 is for feedback sensor here and channel 70 is from CCU coming here to FIVA. We now identify all the, the items that we have here inside. And the most important piece of this equipment that uh, must be careful for the oil quality, which this will be provided through the oil quality by sandwich filters is this main spool. As I told on the beginning, in case of power failure, this spool piece will go uh, to the safe position. So will not damage the engine. A safe position is that there is no any injection of fuel inside and also uh, there is no uh, valve opening there is a natural situation okay and as we have seen all that we can see also here how the fever is activated and we have two condition when the exhaust valve is activated how the oil is moved the system you can see from the lines here we have drain from here and we have supply from this side for the exhaust valve opening and we have in the a second activation of the fuel the oil is passing from here and going from this side we have also names here and you can see the difference okay how it moves okay as you can see when we have the exhaust valve activation from here we have return of oil and supply of oil to here for the exhaust valve activator activation actuator and also for here we have a drain from the exhaust valve and supply to fuel injection somewhere must be a supply and somewhere a return each time as you can see how this valve is working okay just see the lines how it passing it allows now in this square it allows the passing of the oil it's going here okay in the next situation only this oil passing and from this we have close okay this T means a close loop okay the oil cannot go inside also this line which is not so straight it's bended also means that the oil will be passed there this is not activated here so we have some drain from here and going here oil return from fuel oil press booster you can see also the description and also we have oil return from exhaust valve activator as i have said before and also there is also this is uh, the pilot spool as I understand, okay, the main spool and the pilot spool. This is how it looks like the pilot spool and the main spool, which is more complicated. So here you will have the opportunity to see how a coil, voice coil actuator works. Uh, there are direct drive limited in the motion devices that utilize a permanent magnetic field 
and the coil winding which calls conductor. To produce a force that is proportional to the current applied to the coil. And one another thing is, we can see also from our MOP monitor here, the same thing we see also inside the engine control room. We go to maintenance and we go to CCU. So we see that it working normal, normal condition. And here is our channel 70 that I have told you which controls the FIVA valve. There is no any indication of if, if we have any alarm, we have this indication. And also you can see we have some arrows. This symbol is go here and other symbols is going here. That means we have a output signal and a input signal here. So we can see also the channel 30, which is a inlet signal from the FIVA, the position of the feedback sensor that we have seen in our FIVA also. Let's see if we have a abnormal situation. So we have alarms here. This is how it shows here. Also we have information. Net a not connected to CCU9. Changing to test will stop the MPC from controlling the system. All the tests must be done when the engine is stopped. So let's press test. And we can go to see also that we have an indication here that we are in test mode. Also, there is a description and we go again to normal mode. So if everything is normal, it must be shown by tick here. And this is how we make also the test to see if we have a a proper working of all the signals in the system. The analog input, the digital input, the analog outputs and the